Hey everyone, this is Mike. And this is Josh. And this is Must See Before You Die. And today we're going to check out one of Josh's favorite movies of all time, My Bloody Valentine. Behind the scenes, did you know facts about that movie? Josh, is it not one of your favorites of all time? Horrible. What? <laughs> yep. Um, Mike always, always wanted to work in a coal mine, so this is one of his favorite movies, so... I mean, hey, a pick pickaxe kills. It's it's <laughs> it's 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 happening, man. Yeah, I do like that. I like I said, I do give him credit for an inventive killer look, a coal miner outfit. No one thought of that. Um, How about the kill the though? Pickaxe. The kill we we didn't bring it up on the other one, but what about the kill, Josh, where the guy uh, the killer takes the girl's head and puts it up on the faucet, and then when the oh, water's yeah, come, like the water's coming out of her mouth. I mean, hey, that yeah. was epic. Yep, that was good, Mike. Um, though this, they did steal the idea of a pickaxe killer from Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, in my opinion. Yeah, so I, I agree. I agree. Yep. This All right, movie... so let's get, let's look, let's look over some quick. Okay, let's go facts. So, My Bloody Valentine, nineteen eighty one, has a tomato meter from the critics of a fifty six. And from the audience of 52. So that tells yeah, you right now, it's not very popular among anybody. Well, in my opinion, that's far too high. That's <laughs> far too high. Um, that's egregious, in my opinion. It's still 10 points higher than Friday 13th Part 3, Josh. Yeah, it's egregious. <laughs> All right. So not a great score. And if you watch our other video, you'll know that we didn't give it a good score as well. So go well, back and check that one out still. Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? Tell us comments. So this film was shot in authentic mines, which were often as much as 900 feet underground. Only certain lighting devices could be used in the mines because of the potential danger of methane explosions. So Right. Yeah. Put them in some pretty bad. So this one, this, listen to this one, Josh. This is a good one. Quentin Torrentino has named My Bloody Valentine as his all-time favorite slasher film. Oh, can you believe Dang, that? I like Quentin Tarantino. Wait, how did you say his last name? Say that again for me, Mike. Uh, Tor Tarantino? No, Tarantino. Okay. T you say tomato, I say tomato. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I like Quentin Tarantino's movies. Um, and yeah, it surprises me. He's actually in a movie we'll probably cover here, Dust Till Dawn, at some point. And I really, yeah, I like his movies. And um, that surprises me because this one didn't do it for me. All right, so next is it says, producers Andre Link and John Dunning said the film's origin came about when they sought to find a holiday which a slasher film had not been set on during the slasher flick boom, which was the early 80s, and we all know about that. Mm -hmm. They settled on Valentine's Day, and in order to keep the idea from being copied, they made the film's working title The Secret, that they had had the release title in, the, in their mind the whole time. Yeah. I think it's kind of cool that it is set on Valentine's Day. I just think the plot is ridiculous. Okay. So the MPAA, who we all know, love, and hate, really hate more than love, cut yeah. more than five minutes out of this film before it came out, mostly because the movie was released shortly after John Lennon died and there was a major backlash against violent movies then. Oh, okay. I can, I can see that. So Entertainment Weekly, which is pretty well known, yeah. Rank this number 17 on their Guilty Pleasures Testosterone Edition. And that okay. was in the March 30th, 2007 issue, which that was 15 years ago. Maybe it's number... Right, they need to, they need to watch it again. 25, yeah. So there is a, a, a pop band or a rock pop band called My Buddy Valentine, and they got the name of their uh, band from this movie. Okay, I never heard of them. Uh, so if you, yeah, I went and did a YouTube search on it. That's mostly all that came up was, uh, was the pop, the it's kind of rock, a rock pop band. Um, so if you look closely when the cast drives by the Valentine's bluff sign towards the beginning of the movie, TJ's green Camaro appears to be, to be towed or flat towed behind the pickup truck. He is supposed to be racing. So that's a little bit of a tidbit. If you're into the stuff like that, check it out in the movie and go, oh, yeah, I remembered uh, Josh and Mike said that. Oh, Mike, I do know that band, actually. I actually like um, several of their songs. I okay. just remembered, yes, I do know that band. 
because they were popular in the 2000s. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely like a couple of their, their songs. Cool. So TJ's car in the movie is a 1968 Chevy Camaro. So that is a pretty hot car. That was a cool car. That green car. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty cool. The film was shot in authentic mines, which were often. Did I copy that twice? I think I did. I screwed that up. Yeah. Um, Mike, Mike said, hey, man, you know, we don't get paid around here. So obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. We're not going to cut this out. You're just going to read. We're just going to skip that part. Like put an X <laughs> over it. Like don't look at that part. <laughs> um, according to makeup effects artist Thomas Berman, one of his gory creations was realistic enough that the director George, I can't pronounce his name, Mahaka, okay. grew up at the sight of it. So, um, any yeah. other facts you want to uh, add there, Josh? No, not really. I, I, if I, like I said in the other review, if I ever see this movie again, it'll be too soon. I, I don't get why. <laughs> I, listen, yes, it has some good things about it, but I got to fast forward about 45 minutes until I get to those parts. Yeah, so, I, I have to admit that. I, I said that in the other review that my wife came in about 40 minutes after, 45 minutes after it already started. She started watching it a little bit, playing on her phone and picked up on it. She was wanting to try to figure out who the, the who done it at the end of right. it was. So the who done it part is what kept me around too. Yeah. I wanted to know who it was. And the reasoning behind it, the reasoning behind it was okay. Um, the killer, you know, it, it, at one point it was down to two people and two people only. And you, you knew that. So it wasn't like it was a huge who done it for the last 20 minutes, but you knew it was one of the other guys, one or the other, but you didn't know who at that point. Um, but yeah, I say, I mean, listen, I gave it a 1.2 out of five and I stand by that. Quentin Tarantino be damned. I, I seriously, <laughs> I, I like Quentin Tarantino, but I God can't doesn't know shit about that. movies. Evidently, according to Josh, he should. I mean, I'm honestly, I mean, there's way better move slashers than this. I mean, hell probably leprechaun leprechaun two is better than this. I don't know. <laughs> Friday um, 13th part three is not the, <laughs> y yes, it is. Yes. Mike, All right. Compare the, listen, if you took the, if you took just based on the kills, from Friday the 13th Part 3 and this movie, Friday the 13th is far superior, Mike. In well, Josh, my it was a whole two or three years later for Friday the 13th Part 3, too. I mean, technology had come a long ways. No, Friday the 13th <laughs> 2 came out in 1980, or 3 came out in 1982, dude. I thought it was 83. That's, yeah, 80. So it was a I year think, later. It was a year later then. No, number 2 came out, number 2 came out in 81. Number three came out in 82, Mike. So it's a year, remember it's one year difference. Right. So don't be saying, oh, the technology. I think <laughs> I think they started on uh, My Bloody Valentine back in 79, though. It just well, took and a, they're in Canada. It so took them back, three years to film back, it up there. In Canada, they're back a couple years. You know, it was like 1975 <laughs> to them there. I don't know. They were still down the mine. Um, I never did see Friday 13th. All right. So we're going to no, leave. I, listen, Thank you. Yeah, the whole I'm saying the whole mining thing was a cool atmosphere, you know, once they got down in there. I will say that. All right. So what do you guys think? Did you know any of these facts? Do you know any more facts for us? What do you think about this movie? Ever seen it? See our full movie review in another video, but these are some behind the scenes facts on 1981's My Bloody oh. Valentine. Thanks. Thank you, Josh. Wait, I will say this one last thing. I forgot to say it. The next movie we are going to be reviewing is Valentine, and it is a, another horror Valentine's Day movie. So it's called Valentine. So we need to get to compare Valentine to this one and see which one's better, too. That's right. All right. Thank you all. Have a good one. See Bye, Josh.